Now, I've extensively spoken on this show about the lengths that Israel goes to to avoid civilian casualties. But to find out the objective truth, I spoke with the internationally renowned Chair of Urban Warfare Studies at the Modern War Institute, John Spencer. In mainstream media outlets, Israel has been accused of deliberately targeting both aid workers in Lebanon and journalists in Gaza. Have you seen any evidence of this? Absolutely not. And that's just, to me, a continuation of the disinformation about all the operations. The fact that the United States has said many times that there is not one bit of evidence to show that Israel has targeted civilians, period. Journalists, aid workers, nothing. Has there, there has been accidents. Uh, but the fact that Israel has done more to prevent and to safeguard civilians and those on the battlefield, but this is war. Israel is being attacked. Israel is conducting massive operations. I don't think people understand the scale, even in the north, where Israel has now deployed five divisions. Israel doesn't have five divisions. It has two divisions. So those are Israelis who are trying to get in the north, Hezbollah, to stop raining rockets down on Israel. And then you have Gaza, where Hamas is still launching rockets. So I think that's just more of the disinformation, everything from the fact that there is no genocide, there is no targeting of civilians. There's actually the opposite. It's like a weird counterfactuals when Israel sends hundreds of trucks in daily, do, does these evacuations, then, then gets accused of doing something wrong when it's it's like this tiny nation under attack from all these different directions who is actually doing everything anybody's ever tried in war to, to prevent civilian harm, to get them out of harm's way. But yeah, this is war. You were in Gaza, I believe, earlier this year. What about the figure of 40,000 civilians killed in Gaza? Is that figure, as far as you're concerned, is it accurate? And how do you compare the civilian casualties in Gaza with other wars? Sure. And I've been to Gaza three times since October 7th. I was last there in July. I can tell you that the now Hamas Gaza Health Ministry number of 42,000 killed in Gaza is, is a lie. It's just not true. There's no way you could know the number, but that number itself isn't those that have been killed. That's anybody who has died since October 7th. It includes anybody who died of natural causes, anybody who died by Hamas's hand, who murdered to include just this week, people trying to flee when they get the notices, it includes anybody who's missing. They just don't know the name. It includes people that died years ago. I can tell you from being on the ground that that number is a lie and that Israel is actually the civilian to combatant ratio if we knew the number. Although in Gaza, there's some type of magic system that can tell you how many civilians died. It can't tell you how many combatants died, but they'll tell you how many civilians died within hours. That's never happened in war and it never will, but they'll tell you within hours and then mass media runs with it, like 30 killed, 500 killed. But that number is, it's a lie. It's not true. Israel's civilian to combatant ratio is actually lower because they say, and I believe them more than I believe Hamas, but even if I take both numbers, Israel's actually killed like 20 to 22,000 Hamas. And then the rest are what is believed to be civilians, but there actually is no way to tell that in when you have this reporting system that is just full of lies. In terms of the international community accusing Israel of breaching international law, in your view, has Israel been guilty of war crimes? Absolutely not. And I've written that from every angle, every accusation, from the fact that Israel has not been discriminate. It has been very, it has not been indiscriminate. It has been very discriminate in who it targets the enemy only the enemy. It has not been excessive in the use of force. It has not been you know, overwhelming as in not what the law of war says. In my analysis, to include being on the ground and going with like the actual units on the ground, they're following the law of war, following rules of engagement that are very stringent against the complexity of this enemy in underground cities that nobody else has also faced in war. No, Israel is following is going beyond the legal requirements and is following their moral, ethical way militaries fight in doing everything to prevent civilian harm. So all of it, the starvation is not true. The, the, you know, all of it, it's all a farce of lies. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, 
share, and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay informed and inspired. This is Dejobnik signing off.